Hey guys, what's up? It's Jade. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a minute since I posted here on YouTube and I know that it's been some time since I've uploaded on social media in general and that's because of everything that's been going on in the world. I solely wanted to focus on a bigger cause, um, a bigger movement, a bigger purpose and the last week and a half, not even including everything everybody in the world has been going through with COVID-19, the whole coronavirus situation, um, but the Black Lives Matter movement has been so powerful and so just, we've been so strong as a community and as a movement. It's just, it's so amazing to me and I'm super, super proud of everybody who participated and protested and used their platforms to use their voice and speak up and say Black Lives Matter to all the brands who said something about having our backs and, and protecting and standing with the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm so shook, I'm so impressed, I'm so grateful to have so many people come together and participate in something so monumental. It's just, it's beyond me. And for everyone who stepped in on the front lines and was out protesting and had their signs and using their voices and using their platforms to stand up for a cause that actually matters and to come together as much as we did all 50 states participated in black lives matters including 18 countries so that is something so huge it's such an amazing feeling to know that we are valued we are appreciated we are accepted we are wanted and we are a part of this country we are a part of this world and it's not just when it's when it's you know it's convenient for us to be used or we're useful for something it's seeing that we're actually valuable and we're appreciated and that people love us even those who are not from the black community to all the influencers who are not from the black community to all the people who participated in the black lives matters movement who are not from you know the black community from white people who did participate from hispanics who did participate thank you guys for joining in the cause because it really brought us together and for those of the people who didn't say anything or who didn't acknowledge what was going on and didn't feel like it was important to say anything it's like we see you you we, we all see you. you've been exposed we see what really matters to you and that's okay because we came together from all over the world and we made a stand we made our point and we got a victory and every time this happens and it occurs we should come together and we should do the same thing until it is no longer an issue for us so i just wanted to pop on before we get into this video and just say thank you to everybody who participated who donated who stood on the front line and protested who used their platforms who used their voices who made a statement and, and participated in this entire journey thank you so much for valuing our black communities to the brands to the people to the citizens to you know every race that participated in the black lives matter movement thank you so much i feel so happy that light has been brought to the situation and i'm so grateful to everyone who participated and i did my part um so just thank you to everybody and i hope this video is enjoyable let's get into it and i hope you guys like it hey guys so i know you see in the beginning of the video and the intro of this video was very deep and very heartfelt hopefully you guys felt it because i sure in the hell did um but i promise the rest of this video will be a little bit more light a little bit more laid back relaxed and you know not so heavy um i just kind of want to ease my way back into creating content and posting back again on youtube getting back in the right headspace mentally um so today i'm going to be doing a closet declutter video and i need to do this because i recently since we've been stuck in quarantine i've been buying so many clothes i've been buying so many things and it's just like i don't have a lot of closet space on top of the fact there's a lot of stuff in my closet that i've had for years that i have never worn so it's just time for me to get rid of it it's time for me to either donate it or give it to someone who can use it and get more you know use out of it so i wanted to do like a closet clean out and if you are a neat clean freak like me and i really love to like organize like it really just makes me happy um then this video should be enjoyable for you hopefully if it is you want to see more videos like this where i'm cleaning and organizing definitely give this video a thumbs up don't forget to click that subscribe button we still have been growing pretty good and I, that makes me really happy too as well so thank you guys for still supporting my channel even when i wasn't posting love you guys for that and um i think that 
I think that's about I think that about covers everything so I'm gonna just give you guys a quick little run through of everything that is going on currently on my floor right now so this all of this right here is new clothing and some of this stuff I have to do a haul for so I didn't want to put it in my closet yet everything is new except for this robe but all of this is new stuff like there's things from Pretty Little Thing there's things from Fashion Nova there's things from Zara uh lens cap <laughs> um but yeah so before I put it before I put everything into the closet I kind of wanted to clean out my closet because these are all of the clothes that I have so this is what this side of my closet is currently looking like and then i have stuff down here i have these drawers and then on the other side i have bins there's bins down here there's more clothes there's shoes at the top so i really need to just go ahead and like get my life together and just try to like really clean out my closet so i'm going to set you guys up i also have stuff up here and some bags and stuff so i just really want to get it organized and together and get rid of things that i'm not using and not wearing anymore um so yes i'm gonna try to be really really blunt with it i'm gonna try to get rid of so many things so my closet is in the back looking crazy right now but i wanted to show you these little like space bags that i got so i was thinking about um first of all let me tell you where i got them from i got these off of amazon so these are like these vacuum storage bags where you can Put a bunch of stuff in them and like suck them down like suck up all of the air and like make them more compact so you can store them um under your bed or in your linen closet wherever you want to put them just so you can get rid of stuff and i wanted to make more space inside of my closet so i got these off of amazon i will link them down below and these came in a pack of six and these are the jumbo size so they are a 40 by 30 size bag and there's six of them so i'm going to use these for like my thicker winter coats like my thicker jackets things that like my sweaters and my thicker winter jackets and stuff like that because it's starting to like transition into summer and i don't really need all of my winter clothes in my closet so what i'm gonna do is use those bags and i'm gonna get rid of all my like coats and stuff like that I'm gonna get rid of all my clothes and stuff like that and then just store them under my bed in like a little container or something and um, that'll give me more space inside of my closet and also anything that I want to keep but I don't use while it's like summer or hot so that I can still have it when it transfers back to winter and then I'll do the same thing when summer transitions into winter okay a lot of talking a lot of unnecessary things Don't sleep on Dunkin' Donuts coffee, okay? The French vanilla is pristine and it's divine, okay? I'm not even trying to beef with Starbucks, but this ice, French vanilla iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts is better than Starbucks. Quote me on that. Fight me, sue me, it is what it is. I have to agree.
Okay, so my battery's about to die, but I got rid of this side of my closet. Um, I still have a lot more to do, but I'm gonna change my battery and then I'm gonna come back and I also have to change my shirt because it got super, super hot in that sweatshirt. So let me change my battery and then we'll get back to it. All right, guys. So I haven't made that much progress, but it's okay because I made some type of progress. That's all that matters. Um, I still have a lot to do. Like, I'm kind of even embarrassed that I'm happy that I've done this much. But anyway, so I don't know. I, I think I might have started something that I'm not really prepared to finish, but we're going to keep going. I just took two energy pills and I have my coffee, so I'm going to be... Ready to, I'm gonna be ready to finish. I can do this. I can totally, definitely do this. So these are the jackets, like my winter-ish coats that I'm gonna be putting. Oops. That I'm gonna be putting in the little vacuum seal bags because I just don't have space for them, and I'm not really wearing winter-ish like coats and stuff. to get rid of all of those not get rid of but put those in little ziploc um bags and put them under my bed because it's gonna give me so much more space and it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to hang up things and make it look more aesthetically pleasing because i like to make my clothes like go in colored order so like if i'm looking for a white top i can find i know go to the white section if i'm looking for a red top go to the red section and it makes it getting dressed a little bit easier so i'm excited about that um, I'm trying to think, should I vacuum seal those things first or get everything out of the closet and then vacuum seal? Okay, so these are all of the jackets that I'm going to be putting in the Ziploc seal bags. I'm thinking about adding a couple more because I'm trying to be realistic with my wardrobe so that I'm not just wasting space. Because if I'm going to do this, I might as well do it right the first time. Because if not, then I will just be doing it for no reason and I'll end up doing it again. And it's just like, who wants to keep repeating the same thing over and over? So I'm going to leave the jackets over there that I'm going to hang in the closet for now. And just make sure that I don't want to add anything to it before I seal everything up inside the Ziploc bags.
product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I saved a lot of space. And I love that everything is so easily accessible. Like I can see all my whites, I can see all my blacks, my colors, my blues, and it just looks a thousand times better. I still need to figure out a system where I can have everything hung up, but I just have too many clothes right now and um, I'm donating what I can donate. So, I mean, a girl tried, okay? I'm obsessed with clothes, I love fashion, I love, you know, putting together outfits and styling and stuff like that. So hopefully it is, you know, it's decent. I can I can get I can live with this. I I'm no, I'm I'm not throwing anything else away. I, I did my part. So at the top in here I have like pajamas, shorts, this is t-shirts and bodysuits. And then I just have my dresses, my long dresses over here, my tops, tank tops, sweaters, shirts, dresses, and then I have a couple of jackets in the back. Then I have my jeans and my sweatpants in here. And everything, I love how it looks. It's super, super coordinated and it just makes me really happy. I can find things super, super easy and I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm glad. I didn't do anything to my shoes because I mean, this is pretty much the vibe of the shoes. So we're gonna leave it like that. But it came out really nice. I'm happy with it. All right guys, so there is the finished result. I'm super happy with the way it turned out. I'm glad that I was able to get rid of some stuff. I'm gonna donate some clothes and I love that everything is so easily to access. And I'm actually loving the fact that it's super like, for the most part, color coordinated. Like I have my whites, my blacks, you know, my prints, my pinks, my blues. And I think it'll just be a lot easier for me to get dressed and just to find things. And I have a lot, lot more space, which is my ultimate goal. So I can do more online shopping, but I don't want to get into that because I'm going to do more shopping. Nothing can stop me. I have to have something to spend my money on, okay? And if it's outfits, it's outfits. Okay. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!